The hardest story in Helen Rosevere's life comes after she's been in Congo for almost 10 years, or more than 10 years actually. In 1960, the Belgian Congo, which was the country she went to, which then became Congo, which then became Zaire, which now is the Democratic Republic of Congo, um, it gained its independence in 1960. That was not a, a bloody revolution, although it was a very unsettled time. In 1964, there was a rebellion from within the country, the Simba Rebellion, and uh, trying to take o a group within the country trying to take over the government. That was a very bloody time, and many missionaries were killed during that time. The Simba, the, the young people who were fighting, um, had been told by their leaders, the witch doctors, that they were impervious to bullets. When they started dying, they started looking for who had the greater magic. And if it wasn't the witch doctors, then it must be the white doctors. And so people like Helen Rosevere, who had remained in the country, became targets. One night, her house was ransacked and she was captured beat up very badly, and that was already bad enough, then she was also raped. And during that time, she writes a feeling, why have you forsaken me? And she felt as if God was saying to her, it's not you they're attacking, it's me. And this is, you are partaking in the fellowship of the sufferings of Christ, like it says in Philippians 3, 10. Um, at the time when she prayed to him like that, she describes a sense of almost like water rinsing through her, peace rinsing through her and rinsing away her fear, just washing it away. So that was in October of 64. It wasn't until January of 65 that she was rescued and went back to England. She was in England for a year and then she went back again. A year later, she went back to Congo and remained there until 1973. Since then, she goes all around and speaks. Here she is at 82, traveling across the Atlantic to speak. Now, we know that God is the one, only one, who can give strength and energy. You can't count on that at any age, and at 82, less. To, to, not everyone can do that. But even people who do have such strength and energy aren't necessarily using them for God's purposes as I see her using it. So I, her whole life I see as a really great picture of standing and continuing.